And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio. All right, I have set up um, a system here for some concrete. Um, it uses some, it uses iron ore in very small amounts. It produces ten at a time, and it only uses one iron ore. So you don't need a whole lot of iron ore at all. Um, you need a lot of brick, though. So I've got I got it set up near my brick, and this is just now finally running out of the coal that I had in here. So let me grab this last little bit of coal and maybe drop it in a boiler. A boiler is always hungry for coal. Uh, okay, so uh, I used the first batch of concrete to make myself some centrifuges. And this is what you want uh, to start making uranium. Because uh, one thing that you're going to want is to set this up as early as possible and I really should have set this up a very long time ago but there's just so much to do that I, I just ran out of time so uranium east that's one of the reasons why I love the teleporter mod because it would have taken me five minutes to walk over here um, so this all is quiet right now but not for long because we are going to set up ten of these center forges um, to process this uranium. Now, I'm thinking we're going to want to be able to expand this in the future. So let's set that up to be able to do that. Um, one, two, three. These are some pretty cool machines. Um, this is just going to straight up process the uranium. Now, the output of these, um, you're going to get by far the most uranium-238 out of here. You can see that 99.3% of the time, you're gonna get 238. 0.7% of the time, you're gonna get the 235, the good stuff. That's, the 235 is what you want a lot of, and it's the thing that you're gonna need the most, and that's, like, that's just how it is. I mean, you're just gonna want a lot of it, um, so. The processing time on these is actually pretty long. So you can support quite a few of these machines um, on one system. So 12 second crafting on all of these. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the output. Oh, let's do the output on the opposite direction. That's, that's the best way of making something expandable. Okay, and then we're gonna underground under that. Okay, and then output. So I can expand this down further and further and further, depending on how much my belt needs, and then I can probably bring another belt in somewhere. We got plenty of mining capacity. <laughs> we don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's put one of these guys here. And a matching one on that side get it rid of all of that so you're gonna get tons and tons of uranium out of this um, it is a 10 to 1 ratio 10 ore goes into one of either of those so uh, this is a good spot to separate out your final products so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a couple warehouses this is the first warehouses that I've set up in the game we're gonna set up one there and one there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a splitter to separate out the uranium 235 out of there. And that is gonna go right into that warehouse. This one's gonna go right into this warehouse. Um, like, like that. Okay. Uh, that's basically all you have to do to separate those two out. The 235 is going to come down here. The 238 is going to come up here. And then we can we can cross our fingers and hope that this is enough because uh, we have a little bit of dissipation and now, now it's going to start again. <laughs> um, we have lots of uranium getting, getting fed into the system here. And these guys are rocking and rolling. So our first... Uranium is going to be coming out of here soon. And of course, I mean, the odds are not good that you're going to get a 235 right away. <laughs> it's going to take a while. 
So what you actually want, instead of using this stuff right away, because you could use it to make the fuel, one 235 is enough to make 10 fuel cells. But what you want to do is build up enough to where you can then start enriching. And we're going to be working towards the enrichment process. We need to get production science up. But this, you're going to want 40 235. Once you get to that magical number 40, you'll be able to start enrichment. And enrichment gives you that extra, it, it, it turns 40, 235, and 5, 238 into 41, 235, and drops to 238. So it's a, it's a consumer of this stuff, ever so slight, but it, it produces more of what you want. Um, and it takes a while to get to that 40, which is why you want to set these systems up very, very much as early as you possibly can handle it. Because the more you're going to be processing, the better. And I could even go so far as to probably extend this another um, 10 down the line here. Um, these take a considerable amount of power. 362 kilowatts and how is that not powered um, let's power let's power you sir uh, where are my okay I don't see there they are so this system is 3.6 megawatts just just where it is I mean it, it, it consumes quite a bit of power um, it, it's a lot of power and, and as you can see, we don't yet have even one of the 235. Yeah, it's it's a slow process. So maybe in between episodes, I'll I'll build another ten of these, and you know have have some more available. Because we have wait, I mean we have the mining capacity for it, obviously. And with 62 million in here, um, that's a lot. I mean, that, that's a lot of uranium, which is why I wanted to get out here. There are probably other patches around. 36 million, 30 million, 29, 30. Yeah, this, this one is just gangbusters. This will last a very long time. But remember, 62 million, you, you take, take less than 1% of that. Um, is your 235, which is why you want to get enrichment, because that's it's going to go a long ways to help you out. I'm going to need, oh my goodness, they're actually doing damage down here. That's not good. Um, I need to run home. I apologize if that sound is a lot louder. I, I don't have any control over how loud that is. Um, I'm going to grab some of these. I'm going to put these in here. Can I make... I need to make 50 bots. So let me grab some green circuits. Make 50 bots. Let me grab. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the why is that like 84? What that's the... oh I know why. Because there's some it counts the ones in the in the in here as available. Uh, okay, so that's those. Those are finally, these are finally running out of fuel. Couple, you know, between this and my bricks, those are those are the main ones that I need. Um, uh, and I've got I've got some turrets. I've got some wall. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm ready. And rather than run all the way down there. I really need to expand the top of that map. So I need to go to steam power. We need to build a logistics system for down here. 
you know that is that makes sense it's not gonna look at all the yeah look at all the spitters down here okay um want to be efficient with this now they're starting to attack my power system um, and going up I know that's not on the corner oh I could have bumped that over one and that would have really helped this. Uh, as long as everything is covered in green, you're 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 pretty good. Green is good. Of course this No, I didn't want to. No, I don't want to warp anywhere. Okay, so now that we've got some good coverage, I can just drop down a provider chest. I can put a bunch of repair packs in. I can put some wall in. I can put some of those in. Um, let me put. See, I don't have really any coverage down here. So let me put that right in the middle and then put the bots in here which they should immediately go and try to repair all of these oh yeah we have a oh wow look at that force so this is a this is a very popular spot here okay as is this up here Get some extra coverage in there. As far as our power goes, we're doing, we're not doing bad. We haven't had a power collapse yet, so that's good. I, I like to see that. Um, and we have some decent coverage. Uh, oh, the other thing I want to put in here, just in case, is some power poles. Just in case, because you definitely do not want power to run out. That would be a bad, bad thing to happen. Okay. This is relatively protected now. We can head back up and see what we can do about production science. This has been researched. You can see they're going to use 30 rail. And rail is, that's just a nightmare. Because um, it uses stone. <sighs> okay, so let's bring these up. That should be two belts I can fit in between there. And if we say those are going to be production science. <clears throat> One belt is going to be just rail. Because, because we need so much rail. So the other belt will share the electric furnace and the productivity module um, and the productivity modules uh, let's look at the ratios here so one productivity module is used um, every 21 seconds and if we look where's productivity module there it is uh, one can be made every 15 seconds so it, it is roughly a one-to-one -one. I mean it's a little it's a little better than one-to-one -one. and then uh, one electric furnace every 21 seconds well we have an electric furnace every five seconds. So it doesn't take many electric furnace crafters. We have four of them. Like one and a half are gonna be used for this, um, which is why I wanted to build this system up when I did, because uh, I knew that we were gonna be using a lot of electric furnaces. So let's go up like that. And I'm gonna grab some more undergrounds like so that should help grab some more of the iron 
finally finally be able to update that system um, we're gonna go ooh, we're gonna go like this and you're gonna be on that side now again we have four of these four productivity modules are gonna be enough to keep these things going you know it, it's gonna be enough and then we're gonna need green circuits and red circuits uh, and probably that. And then um, the middle ones here are going to be grabbing and pushing. Now, if you're if you're using just strictly vanilla, there there are things called long-handed inserters that do the same thing as this, that pick and place one block one block further than the, than the other ones. But because I have Bob's installed, I can just, I can just use that, and it's it's so nice, it's such a nice mod. Um, so that is plenty of production for those. If you want to overproduce those and then start placing them, um, I, I usually have separate module production areas, and I need some more of the substations so you can go there you can go there and finally these will come out like so um, goodness gracious I should have done that there we go and just in case we need more Give yourself a little bit of space. And we have some oil right there. Really? Oil? Um, I'm going to do a chest for a buffer. Because some researchers, you know, consume stuff faster. Um, and then I can copy and paste the chests, and it actually pastes the limitation on that. So that's yet another thing that you can paste is the limits on chests. Uh, okay, so this up here, we're going to have the same, actually, yeah, the same thing here and here. And believe it or not, bots will actually do that. Um, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so let's really use some resources and get oh, get those set up. And then let's work on getting the green and then the red. So the green are going to need to underground under here and then move over. The red, like so. You and you. And we need underground under that. I'm going to need to expand my red circuits as well. I mean, one thing you could do, instead of making the, the rail up here, you could make it, because I'm making rail right down here. And it's kind of a gnarly process. Steel, iron rods, and like stone, raw stone. Um, otherwise, I, I'm gonna need to bring stone all the way up, which I could do. Um, it would be right along this line here. So right in here somewhere. I could bring stone up. Uh, these should have started yet. Yeah, see, they're loading. They're loading the productivity modules. <coughs> That's good. That's what I wanted. Um, all right. So this is thirty rail every twenty-one seconds. Rail. I produce two. So I produce four every second. 
So four times twenty one, you're looking at you know eighty four rail in the time it takes to use thirty. So one rail producer is enough to keep two of these going plus a little well, yeah, plus a little bit extra. So we only really need two rail producers to keep this up and running. Um which isn't bad. Hmm. I'm thinking how we want to do this. I think I'm going to bring, yeah, I'm going to bring the rail up. And we're going to do, we're going to do three, I think. One, two, three. With an option for a fourth. So this would be a rail, rail, rail. I want to make sure we're producing, you know, as much rail as we can possibly manage. Um, because this, this, and this can output rail pretty fast. So now we need iron sticks, and it's just one iron stick um, so iron stick can actually go there and there as we produce two of these at once every half second and this is using one every half second so that's fine again it's it's built to supply more than one so we can have another one on here if we expand this obviously we'd have to figure out a way to expand this but there is a little bit of space in there I could I could make it work um, so these are gonna need iron these are also gonna need steel so let's bring steel in well we're gonna bring that in right here Maybe one more well we gotta back that up a little bit because we're going to have a splitter. Like so. And then again, this is not a huge consumer. This and that one are match. This one doesn't, though. Uh, okay, so that one, that one, and that one, they all get steel. We've got the rods, and now the stone. Where are we going to bring stone in? Lord. Um, wow, there's just no good place for stone. Um, hmm. I'm looking at this now. We might be better off putting these in a line now that I've looked at this. And this is, you know, again, one of the reasons I don't I don't have the supply belts coming in right away because yeah, I, I tend to rethink my, my setup here. So this will be again rods. This will be the rail. And even though this won't be used. Uh, so if we have these two, this one, and this one, these two can merge. Ah, get on there. There we go. OK, 
Okay, <clears throat> now we should be able to, at the very least, know where iron is coming in. Um, steel. Steel can come in right there. little messy it's a little messy but that can be stone how much stone is used one <clears throat> not much stone uh, and then here 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 and here so you pull in from that side copy and paste you you pull in from that side copy and paste you And then finally, iron, which is where? Where's my iron at? There it is. Wow, it's way down here. Come on, iron. Okay, so iron. <coughs> right here. And we're right at the top of the base. I was trying to make it fit in the area that we had, and it looks like I was able to do it. Look at that. One substation powers all of that. <laughs> I love substations. I love them. Okay. Um, and that's steel. I mean, that lines up with steel pretty well, so I guess the top one will be... Um, will have to be the the stone. I could come up here and grab this stone and bring it down, but mm, I don't think we have time for that. All right, finally, <clears throat> my brick is being consumed. So if we're going to bring up stone... Probably going to have to do it back here. Need to be two offset from there. Oh, good lord. Can I put this anywhere else? Hey, look at that. Stone is finally, finally going away. Which means I need to refactor stone to use electric furnaces and I think the rest of it is clear up until here how do I have an odd number of undergrounds how did that happen that that concerns me. That really does. Because you shouldn't have an odd number of undergrounds in your inventory. Ever. Uh, and I'm going to need some more belt. And this will finally <clears throat> be the last major science pack that we need to automate. To get the rest of the base up and running. <clears throat> now I'm hoping some of you guys out there have some suggestions as to uh, what goals we should go for uh, for the end of the series. Uh, I, I just don't know. So I'm open to your suggestions. Why are boy red circuits have just taken a dive? Ah yeah. Yeah, these. I, I mean, I knew I was going to need to. I knew I was going to need to update red circuits. Get them. Get them increased. 
<clears throat> Let's make sure I've got. Oh yeah, I'm missing missing a segment right there. <clears throat> Okay, it looks like stone, I must have some yellow belt in there, because I can, I can tell it's not compressed, yeah, right in here. Has them in, oh my goodness. Hasn't been updated in a while. There we go. <clears throat> now I need some more brick. So this has got to be torn down. Unfortunately. I'm really hoping I don't cut off the power. Sometimes when I refactor this stuff, like I cut power to the whole like whole sections of the base so just just watch out for that I, I, I've tried to get into the habit see like I just can disconnect to that I've tried to get into the habit once I get the big power poles to stretch out big power poles and connect you know large parts of the base together because yeah a lot of times I do this and then I cut power to huge sections of the base and that's never a good thing And then how many electric duvalakis do I have on me? Um, with these steel furnaces, what you can do with these is drop them into your recycling system if you have that mod. And you get a lot of that steel back. You can see the steel and the brick pouring out. And that gets pushed up into the system and it doesn't waste any materials, which is great. Because some things in the game, for some reason, are not recyclable or not upgradable so you you know you do all this work um and and vast majority of things are used to upgrade into other things and you run into every once in a while um builds that don't do that it's weird so like the steel furnace uses like it's crazy like it doesn't use the regular furnace to upgrade and so you can have all these regular furnace sitting around and it's like well what do I do with all these and where am I going um, down here no down here this is where I was going um, we want all of these um, can I copy and paste oh my goodness that pollution is just oppressive I'm going to copy all of these. Do I not? I have more, more than 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, you and you. You and you. Okay, and then let's belt balance that, just like we did before. Um, you know what, I like to do this. I know, it's not, I know it looks funky, but it's a good, it's, I like that loop around belt balancer look and feel. Um, okay, so let's, no, let's get some substations out here. So here, 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 and here. Now the brick is flowing again. Excellent. And I can get those started at the very least. There we go. <clears throat> now we're now we're running a brick again. Yay. 
Yeah, these things store a lot of material. And the reason I have this here, uh, eventually I want to research the uh, logistics warehousing. Well, might as well do that now. Um, if you have an excess of wood, uh, you can then burn it. And I can, I can have this wood go right into here and just burn it down if I want. If it, if it becomes too much. And I'm definitely going to need... Another set of these. Um, I can even copy all of this. And paste it here. <clears throat> and the bots will help me out on that on that effect and then uh, for the copper getting moved down here what I usually do is I use the gaps to underground all the way through for the copper to make it down like so and then I underground these underground these this oh uh, let's see yeah this can get moved out to here and they can just pick up on each side I'll let the bots place there's probably already a bot on the way for that and I don't want to clear it there it is so I'm just gonna grab it like that and this is they're able to build this because all that stuff that I had um, is under a or they've got the uh, provider chests and the buffer chests, buffer chests too. Um, and then this one comes out to here. And it's still balanced, believe it or not. So you just extend both of those. You extend both of these um, and then maybe maybe use substations instead of, of the things like so and then we just doubled our red circuit production eventually uh, they're they're kind of drained out here. Um, let's let's clear this out. Now that I have the red uh, the red ones, uh, I can just clear those out like that. <clears throat> there we go. And finally, the gears have had it so let me upgrade this um, and I can do that I just I just upgraded a bunch of these so you know what I'm gonna do you've seen it before it's all good all right well that's gonna do it for this episode and I think you're all for watching please hit that like button if you've been enjoying the series so far and comment down below if you want to add two cents to anything and uh, yeah I will see you next time